Hello, everyone. My name is Sujin, and I'm going to present uh, work with uh, Stephen Newman, a uh, viral marketing based model for opinion dynamics in online social networks. So, as we say, that uh, the political campaign advertisers have been collecting the let citizens' behaviors and inappropriately distributing advertisements to the selected users, such as the uh, Cambridge Analytica. Right? So, and uh, we, we also say that there are, have been trollings and fake news and both around in the network. And somehow, what of them uh, related to, are related to shaping people's opinions, even though it might be so obverse and direct. So we also observe that there are viral content spreads in the network, and there might be different types of the uh, viral content. For example, viral content that are more related to uh, societal issues, such as the presidential election and the vaccination. And people have very strong opinions about this content and they will either like it or hate it. And we call this type of the content as the polarizing content. And contrary, there are other kinds of the content. Uh, for example, the advertisements of the Coca-Cola, people will have not have uh, very strong opinions about it. They will just like it or ignore it and all we call this kind of content as the marketing content. So here we uh, have something need to understand. The first question we ask to ourselves is, uh, how, does the, how does the content spread through the network? And the second question is that when exposed to new content, how do people form the opinions? And third is that, uh, how does the spreading content affect the polarization of the network. Uh, to answer these questions, we introduce some existing models. Uh, the first model here uh, is the uh, is the classic independent cascade model that can help us to answer the question: How does the information spread? It models how uh, viral content spreads in the social network. Uh, so, in this model, each node has one shot to influence its neighbors, and once that uh, once get activated, it stay activated. So here, no is example. And the, edge, the numbers assigned on the edges are the probabilities of the load to influence its neighbor. So here in the first step, it gets activated times the zero, and it has a chance to influence all of its neighbors. And in the next step, it successfully influences uh, the label E and E, but it fails to influence C and B. And once it uh, used up its short, it becomes blue, uh, green. The legs around, uh, C, uh, E influences F and the D influences C. But D fails to influence F in this case. After this step, we find that C and, C and F don't have labels, so the spreading procedure stops here. Okay, the next question is how do people form opinions? Here we apply the uh, classic uh, Fred King Jones's model. And in the Fred King, uh, what's shortened for FJ model. In the FJ model, each node has innate and expressed opinions uh, ranging in zero and one, as here, uh, uh, just as here, uh, the bottom as an example, the other blue ones, uh, blue cycles are the, uh, means the express opinions and the, the uh, uh, gray uh, rectangles means uh, innate opinions. And the differences between the innate and expressed opinions are innate opinions are fixed and they are, they are, they are people's true opinions and they keep for themselves as in private. And the expressed opinions will change over time. Other, other opinions that people show to each other, for example, due to some peer pressure or so on. So here comes the updating rule. How does the uh, expressed opinion changes? It's basically a linear compilation of the uh, last steps uh, express the opinions of its neighbors uh, and uh, itself in the opinion. In the right hand side is just an example of after one round how the expressed opinion changes. Right? And after few, several rounds, the expressed opinions uh, converge, uh, it becomes fixed if the innate opinion and uh, the graph, law, uh, graph uh, topology are given, we can also find a closed form, use a closed form formulation to express the, uh, to, to show the express opinion as follows. 
So here are some uh, limitations of the existing models. They are both very nice and very popular. But the problem is that uh, the models are focused on either information spreading or opinion formation. So if we want to understand how people, uh, how the viral content influence a user's opinions, we need to combine them both, right? So here comes our, our contribution, our uh, spread and knowledge model. Uh, so the model basically helps us to uh, quantify how much the viral contents impact users' opinions. And it combines the previous uh, two classic models. Uh, to be more specific, loads will spread content similarly to the independent cascade model. And once the load gets exposed to the content, it might have the chance to change its innate opinion. And the uh, intended opinion changes express opinion changes. And the content and the opinions updates will basically trigger through the network. And the model comes in runs in each round load first update its uh, opinion and share the content. So here is a very simple example. And in, uh, below, uh, all the loads have the innate opinions and express opinions to be zero. The black one here means the load are lot, uh, is not influenced. So based on some for example, uh, the red one are the one that changes innate opinions in this step. Well, for example, based on uh, exposed to some breaking news or some uh, scandals, so it changes innate opinions. Uh, and the, the red one here means that the load will change its innate opinion and it's going to spread the information. And the gray one with the red uh, uh, frame means that uh, the load just changes its uh, innate opinion at this step. So as we say, innate opinion changes, express opinion is updated as a consequence. The next step, so uh, uh, the next step is that the load we're going to change uh, share its content and it's try to influence one of its neighbors. Uh, and in this case, only the yellow one and the, the red one acknowledges uh, the content shared by, uh, by the neighbor, the gray one, and the yellow one only updates its innate opinion. Only the red one is going to uh, share the content in the future. So as we said before, the innate opinion is updated express opinion also uh, is updated. In the next round, uh, the bottom left one, which is previously red one, uh, share the content to its neighbor and successfully make the node to change its uh, innate opinion. But the red one, will, uh, the yellow one will not share the content in the future. After updating uh, the express opinions, we find that there is no more uh, content is going to uh, spread in the network. So in the future, the express opinions are going to be updated according to the FG model. So here is an a example of how our uh, spread acknowledge model works. So previously, we give a short example and we just assume that the innate opinion will change to 0.5. But uh, in our paper, we give more uh, case distinctions and more analysis. And for example, we uh, first set a parameter epsilon greater to be uh, greater than zero. And uh, in the first case is that, assume that we are going to spread the marking content, for example, the call, uh, advertisement of the Coca-Cola, people will like it or will ignore it, right? So in this case, if people uh, like it successfully, uh, the user will acknowledge uh, this content, it will just uh, increase uh, in the opinions by epsilon. Uh, in contrary, for the polarizing content, the proponent will like it, but the opponent will repel it, uh, such as the, some uh, social advertising uh, regarding the uh, presidential election or vaccination and so on. And here we uh, set a parameter uh, as a threshold to distinguish in these two cases. So if initially uh, the initial innate opinion is greater or equal to this uh, tau, then it's plus epsilon, otherwise it's minus epsilon. Uh, so we also noticed that in, uh, um, we, we noticed that, oh, sorry, uh, in the experiments, we will study different types of the content, uh, how, how different types of content influence the polarization and the disagreement and so on. 
So the question is, how can we simulate the old model? In the previously, we know that the FG model has a very nice closer formulation for formation of the uh, express opinions, and the independent independent cascade model can be simulated uh, very nicely using the monocolor simulation or reverse ritual sets based method. But the, now the question is that the opinion formation and the information spreading are interleaved, and it's not clear how can we use the existing technique to uh, for, for our model. Um, by saying that they are interleaved, uh, we give an example about showing how each round works. The first round, uh, the one user uses update their uh, opinions and the information keeps spreading. And the uh, information spreading will merge the innate opinions in the network. And then in the second round, also people update the opinions and the information spreading and go on and go on until finally converges. So it's very complicated to, uh, to, to, to simulate it. So in order to simulate it, we consider a simpler uh, two-stage model. For this two-stage model, the first stage is just a random independent cascade model, and this can reverse how users change their innate opinions. And in the second stage, we just run the FG, FG model based on the updated innate opinions. And both of them can be simulated very efficiently and combine them, we can also do it. So here's a number that we proved in our paper, spread ecology model and the two stage model can generate, generate exactly the same distribution over the updated innate opinions and the expressed opinions. So it means that we can efficiently say, simulate our model, spread ecology model by simulating two stage model and get the same results. So here's some further results. And um, first we give some algorithms for efficient simulation of our model and prove the correctness and the error bounds. And the second one, we give some approximation algorithms for uh, specifically for maximizing some of the express opinions. And this is based on the framework of the reverse reachable sets. And we also gave heuristics to maximizing some lack of commercials such as uh, disagreement and polarization and so on. And we also, need to point out that our model can be easily generalized in uh, different ways. For example, by replacing the independent cascade model with the linear threshold model, and we can uh, define more sophisticated ways to nudge the innate opinions. And here are uh, the experiments. Uh, first one, uh, the impact, uh, we study the impact of the different uh, types of the content on the polarization. First, we need to define the polarization. And polarization is basically the variance of the expressed opinions. And the question is, what will happen if we just choose 0.5% of the most influential loads and ask them to share the content? And we can find that the marketing content and polarizing content is very, very differently. For the marketing content, it's not very clear how much changes will increase, the uh, will induce the polarization. But for the polarizing content, it can increase the polarization by 60% in some cases. And similarly, for disagreement, it measures how the uh, how how interacting users disagree with each other. And uh, we ask the same question. We we select the 0.5 most influential loads to spread the content, and we find very similar results that uh, uh, for the polarizing content increases the disagreement very largely, and for marketing content it's uh, uh, it, it, in some most cases even increases the uh, disagreement. So here a summary and some of the future work. And our contribution is that we define a novel mode, design mo a novel model that allows us to quantify how uh, viral content influences the user uh, opinions, and we use uh, algorithms to efficiently simulate it. And we uh, also do experiments to show the differences between uh, different uh, content spreading the network. And here are some of the interesting future directions. For example, how can we validate our model in the practice? This is very hard even for the original classic FG model. And, and the second one, how can we estimate the uh, model parameters? And the last one is very interesting from the algorithmic, algorithmic uh, perspective is that how can we design our approximation algorithms for optimizing the polarization and disagreement? Thank you. Uh, that's it.
for the presentation. Uh, do you have any questions? Hi, thank you for that very, very interesting talk. Um, so yes, as, as you said, we have a, we have two minutes to uh, do some Q and A. So if anybody's got a question, please ask or, or type it into the chat. Um, so so while while people are are thinking, I I, I actually I really li like this, and I, I actually like the the interesting directions for future work. And so you mentioned it's very difficult to validate this model in practice. Yeah, um, yeah. I'd be actually, I'm really curious to know how, how you could actually deploy this into, into a real system and kind of measure the performance. Do you have any kind of insight into how that would work? I actually, I, I don't have any idea, idea about how can we deploy it into real uh, stuff. But because currently we just use the, uh, Open data sets, and we run on these data sets, and we we have these assumptions, and we we run on the existing data sets. And I don't know how to employ it into the real systems. I think it's more could be more complicated. Yeah, I know. Correction. Oh yeah, yeah. I imagine very very complicated. Um, yeah, you know, I would it be much different than you know like research and recommender systems. Where you know you actually deploy it and you you measure the effects of you know as you said in one of your experiments if you take the top 0.5 percent of the network and ask them to post something um yeah maybe that's more of a comment than a than a question but um, are there are there any other questions we have time for a quick one. Yeah, and uh, another difficulty for this model for validating is the innate opinion and the express opinions are very hard to measure. Actually, we we, 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 find, we have a hard time to find the, the ex, uh, real innate opinions in the uh, in the existing data sets. That's right, because that's that's something that's private to a, a person. Yeah, private. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah, that, that that makes it very challenging, but. Thank, thank you very much uh, for the, the, the talk. I, I find it very, very interesting.